So ultimately, we want our paddlers to be able to take a skill, but adapt it and change it to different environments. Uh, the key takeaway for me really is on that forward stroke. Are you happy launching off the beach? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go there. Uh, I'm going to launch last. We'll come back and start that one again, Mary. <laughs> Today, actually here now, would be really great to go. And do. I think working in the rocks is, you know, that's always going to be a challenge, isn't it? So hello and welcome. Thank Hi. you for being here today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Fast decision making is often based on gut feelings and instincts. So I'm just going to turn you and get you into position so I can push you away in a way in which you can feel the three different blade angles that you could have and the three different effects that we'll make. If we don't retrieve the information or encode it thoroughly, then we will find that we'll have retrieval failure. And there are times where you just need to quickly help someone get the information they need to achieve the task that they're trying to do. The second thing that I really want them to do is to think about, so what are they gonna do because of this? Elbows up, that made me think. And what am I gonna do with this? Yes. Um, I think it'd be a really good idea for us on our, our club sessions to actually practise some of these skills, so I'm gonna suggest that. But if we get the coach-student relationship right, the students are going to be more engaged, they're going to feel more relaxed, they're going to trust you, and ultimately, they're going to buy into the session that you're delivering. So another great template to use for guiding our observation is the TTPP model. They're far more likely to put that learning into the long-term learning and remember it for next time. I wrist over my paddles, then it helps me both like lean forwards over it and brace, but also I have... Students will often respond best to tasks that are progressive. So we're going to set up a little task here to experiment with how changing your boat angle is going to affect what happens to your kayaks. And therefore, we need to dial the environment down to suit the students. So we're going to have a look at a stroke called a draw stroke. How are we finding it? Were there any parts of that skill that you're finding easy or...? You just give them one, two or maximum three things that they can work on, but only let them work on it one step at a time. When we're delivering these sessions, think about how the skill we're working on is going to fit in the bigger picture of our students' needs, aims and goals for the session.